First pipeline blew when a Liberian tanker was offloading crude oil onto a storage facility, which then triggered the second explosion. The petroleum storage facility is jointly owned by Dalian Port and China National Petroleum Corp, the parent company of PetroChina. On Sunday the 11th of December, Hertfordshire Fire and Rescue Service was called to an incident in the Bunsfield area of Hemel Hempstead. Little did the service know that it was about to tackle one of Europe's largest fires since World War II, amongst a scene of utter devastation. The depot, a major distribution terminal operated by Total and part owned by Texaco, storing oil, petrol as well as kerosene, 1,000 firefighters fought the blaze over the four-day period using the latest equipment available from the county and other fire services nationally. Hertfordshire Fire and Rescue Strategy involved the use of high-volume pumps to supply the largest foam attack the UK has ever seen. 2,000 people living near the site were evacuated. Properties were damaged up to three kilometers away. The planning and expertise brought the fire under control with no loss of life or major injury. Protecting the port today, firefighters from across Rhode Island put their skills to the test during an emergency disaster drill on the Providence waterfront. The goal to make sure they are ready for scenes like this one four years ago when a massive fire broke out while a ship was unloading gas at a fuel terminal in the port. Circumstances like this one four years ago this month when a fire broke out at the port of Providence just as a ship was unloading fuel during a thunderstorm. Today's drill focused specifically on how to handle a fire on board a vessel, attacking it from the ground and by sea. When you have a fire on a ship, it's, it's a very, especially in a tanker, it's a very dangerous situation. We're learning, we've learned a lot today. Officials say preparing for a multi-agency response to a potential disaster on board a vessel or in the port is important not only to ensure public safety, but also the safety of first responders. Firefighters. Fireboats move in to battle the flames. The fire's temperature now exceeds 3,000. 